Absolutely. And, and one of the things that's um, but kind of a hot topic is, you know, in my off-season period, which you know, we, we refer to the off-season as this October, November, December, um, the summer season has ended. Traditionally, the baseball season at major league level has ended itself. And we can go into a, a phase of recovery and, and gaining strength or understanding um, what I need to focus on based off my previous season. Right. Right. And so that's kind of where all these private businesses are coming into play. And there's a lot to pick and choose from. But by and large, when I start preparing to be successful in my season, which is where I need to perform my skill, mm -hmm. there's this whole thing about can I sustain this level of performance right. over a long period of time. Right. And what we're starting to see is in that off-season phase, let's go back to Johnny for a moment, is that let's say Johnny, he now is he's getting prepared for his season. And he's been a part of a strength and conditioning program that wants him to um, lift four days a week. Mm -hmm. And he's got a private pitching coach who's working on his bullpens. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's also been a part of this velocity program he's been doing right. to make sure he's throwing hard to get right. noticed, right? All these things are converging right before the season starts. And as we know, some things got to give and take here. Right. So what is, what is Johnny, what's a parent to do? Mm -hmm. And what we're finding is, is they feel like they have to do it all right. to make sure that they, they don't lose or miss out on anything. And that's kind of a notion that's stuck in a lot of these players' heads, right? Yep. And there's a quote that I found in one of your Fast Function series uh, that I found on YouTube uh, by Dr. David Tiberio. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm not going to know the, the specific quote, but one thing that really resonated with us was it's about that repetitious activity mm -hmm. that, you know, that circle of function and recovery may become smaller and smaller and smaller yeah. because my body's trying to adapt to find this, this level of mobility in there to where I can still function. Right. You know, so one of the things to kind of wrap up this recovery here is if I'm Johnny again, I have all these things on my plate, how eventually would that kind of lead to a potential issue in my overall development. Yeah, the, the, the great thing about that is that if uh, people are watching this, I'd rewind it and listen to that again, because that was, you, you hit everything just right on the nose. Um, let's start with kind of the off-season concept. You know, um, when you're quote unquote off-season, whatever that means, and the sad thing is a lot of times kids aren't, aren't allowed to go off-season. You know, we right. just keep hammering at them. You have to really ask yourself, what am I trying to accomplish here? And, and the answer is a really easy answer. You want to build a stronger foundation so your peaks of your ability get higher. Just think of a pyramid. If I have a small foundation, my peaks are going to be so high. And that's all I'll achieve because I'm just throwing, 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 and I'm not, I'm not creating the foundation of my body uh, neuromuscular skeletally to throw. So if I do have this opportunity where I can concentrate on getting my peaks higher, we don't go back to the peak and keep throwing. We got to go back to the foundation. And now the, the key about the foundation that we've been studying for years is what should that be? Because uh, I can certainly bench press and get stronger, but will bench press allow me to create a foundation that I'm going to be able to go back out on the mound and be efficient and proficient next year? We now know the answer is no. <laughs> you know so what, what is that? And that's what DVS is providing is during this foundational period, what all do you need to be doing? And a big chunk of that, as you've already indicated, is recovery. And so there's a science to recovery. Um, so what do I do after I do that particular workout? Do I just let everything shut down? We know that's the worst thing you can do, but that's, that's kind of a natural intuitive thing for us to do. I just got done, I'm tired, I'm gonna shut down. There's a, there's a we kind of call it the train analogy. Um, when you see a powerful train, it's pretty impressive. It goes flying by and you're you know, kind of upset that you have to wait for the train to go by, but you're going, man, that's a lot of massive momentum flying right. by there and you're impressive. But what you didn't see is the gradual warm up, and what you don't see is the gradual cool down. And it's all about movement. You don't see the train go 80 miles an hour and then just stop, okay? It, it, it would ruin everything. Uh, but that's what we're asking sometimes our kids to do. And the, the wonderful thing about DVS and just by you asking the question is, immediately, you're going to provide an opportunity for my kid, my Johnny, so to speak, to understand what the foundation should be, what kind of in-season training should look and feel like, and off-season training should look like, with an emphasis on recovery. Um, 
It, I, I really am impressed with a lot of uh, people who are finally getting recovery, not only in the physical realm, but in, even in the mental and spiritual realm. You know, we just got to, we, we were made to, to get here and then recovery should get us here. What we've been doing so far is we're getting here, recovery takes us here. We go, we fight it again, recovery takes us here. And, and you said that right at the start. Uh, when we see that not emphasized, we see the kids struggling, we see them not reaching their potential, literally we see them uh, d doing a poor job. Uh, less control, uh, less sustainability, less endurance, less velocity, you name it, they got it. And the worst thing, all of a sudden, hey, dad, my elbow hurts, you right. know, my shoulder hurts. And it's like, oh, crap. Yeah. Uh, so part of that is improper training, I, I believe. But a big part of that is not understanding recovery the way DVS understands recovery.